Hi YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to download routes to your Garmin Edge 1030 and probably other bike computers using the Strava Routes Connect IQ app. The other day I made a route to ride up in Bennington, Vermont and drove up there and realized when I got there that I hadn't put it on my Garmin GPS. When I, when I went to courses, saved courses, Bennington Walmart 52 wasn't there. Now tomorrow I'm going to go do uh, about a 40 mile ride in Poundville, Vermont, and I have created the route on my computer, and now I want to show you how to get it to your Garmin GPS without using your computer. So, the way you do that is you go to this IQ thing, and I have Strava routes on there already, and I downloaded the Strava routes app, and there's Poundville 40. And if I click on that, I believe I click on Navigate Route. Then I'm going to be in a mountain bike. And there I have the course and I can go ride it. So that's how easy that is once you have the Strava Routes Garmin IQ app downloaded to your 1030. What I need to do now is show you how to get that on your Garmin 1030 and the way you do that is you click on the Garmin Connect app on your phone you go to more you go to Connect IQ store and I think I click not now to that I switched from my Forerunner to my Edge 1030 and I found the Strava Roots app I clicked download allow and then it says it will be installed the next time your device syncs so if I go close, go back to here, and up here, no, let me go to here. I'll go to Garmin Devices, Edge 1030, and it's syncing right now. Which will be interesting because I already have the Garmin Connect IQ app open. So... So it's synced, download complete, it's a deleting segments. Uh oh. <laughs> anyway, let me see if it's there. If I go to IQ, Strava Roots, good. And the actual Strava Route that I wanted to do didn't show up, so I had to click on More. And there you see Bennington Walmart 52. That More button is kind of like Next, and then up at the top it says Previous. So that's how you go page to page between your different routes. If I go back here and go to Navigation, Courses, Saved Courses, Bennington 52 is there, and hopefully Poundel, Poundel 40 is there. They show up with the Strava app symbol. So that's how simple it is. Now obviously you need to have your Garmin account and Strava account paired, and you have to log in, but I've already done that. That was a lifesaver because I was pretty pissed when I got up there and didn't have the root loaded, and I couldn't have followed the route without my GPS because I had just planned it out and didn't memorize it, so I would have never known where to go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this is helpful to somebody. I didn't know you could do this, and I'm pretty psyched you can. Talk to you later.